My name is Allie Morgan. I am the writer and director of Shatter, which is about two women who fall in love quickly and then realize that their love may only be seasonal. You're a legacy filmmaker. You've submitted a film to us before called Sisters. Yes. Now you're living in Madison, right? No, I actually just moved to Chicago about three weeks ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. You were, you were living in Madison. Yes. Okay. What prompted the change to Chicago? Um, I guess just more so, um, I was always driving here anyway. Um, a lot of the film stuff that I do is either here or in Milwaukee. Um, so it kind of just made sense to move. It's a lot easier to get to Milwaukee from here because they have the train, um, so I don't have to drive. So yeah, just the nature of the industry. Okay. Shattered is your third film, is it? Yes. Uh, yep, my third one. Okay. And it's, and it's a little bit longer than Sisters. So you're, mm -hmm. are you working towards a longer format of storytelling? Yeah, I'm actually working on a TV series right now. Um, the short that I did before Shatter was actually longer. It was about 25 minutes. So yeah, I am looking to go more on the longer route instead of like four to five minute shorts. You were in Madison and shot this in Madison, right? Yes, I shot this one um, between Milwaukee and Chicago. Okay, okay. I just want, I'm just trying to clarify things in my head here. Yeah. <laughs> So these stories are rather personal towards you and they're mostly about relationships, mm -hmm. right? Because yes. Sisters was about relationships. This one is, is about relationships. Is that what you want to focus on? It's mostly uh, more of a drama relationship type stories? Definitely. I um, like to focus on all relationships, so not just romantic relationships. I'm really big on like familial relationships, um, kind of like found family type of relationships, best friendships, but I definitely like to focus on relationships in my stories. And this was shot in Madison, where you used to live. And where'd you find the actors and crew? Were they from Chicago, Milwaukee, or did you get them all from Madison? Um, so actually, um, we were originally gonna shoot it in Oklahoma. So Kenzie, who plays Joy, is from Oklahoma. She flew up here from Oklahoma. Um, and then Maddie, who plays Eden, she's from Milwaukee. Um, she actually starred in my previous short film, Cupid's Chokehold, so that's how I found her. Okay. So yeah. you're, you're actually going to shoot this in Oklahoma, take everyone th there? Well, we were going to shoot it um, with my DP who worked on my last short. Um, she's from Oklahoma. And so she oh. was going like, to get her whole crew and everything. And it was just going to be me and Maddie. And we were going to go down to Oklahoma and work with her crew. Um, and then at the last minute, we had to make some changes. So I had to switch everything and make it all local. Um, but I really wanted to keep Kenzie. So I had her come out here to shoot it. Well, that's interesting. So yeah. the DP on your previous film was happened to be from Oklahoma. And the yeah. actress that you cast happened to be from Oklahoma. So you wanted to do a movie in Oklahoma. Yeah, she's actually the DP's friend. They had worked together before. So oh, the DP okay. recommended her and she was great. So I didn't want to lose her um, just because we weren't shooting there. So I flew her out here so that she could film it. Did you shoot all in the Milwaukee Madison area then with her? Um, we were in Chicago as well. Okay. Yeah. How long of a shoot was it? She flew in from Oklahoma. Was it like a, a week? No, it was literally two days. Oh, just two days. Okay. Yeah. She flew in Friday. We shot Saturday, Sunday. She flew out Monday morning. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's very interesting. Yeah. How was the experience with all that, with doing a larger film like this? Um, it was definitely challenging. It was kind of something that ended up um, being put together kind of last minute. So it was really like an all hands on deck and my crew was awesome where we were able to like pull it all together, get locations, um, get equipment, all of that kind of at the last minute. 
And it ended up working out great. I love the way it turned out. But for those 48 hours, it was definitely chaotic. That's wonderful. Now, th with all this here, I... I honestly didn't know about this film until you submitted it to me because I know you were working on something else. I saw the social media posts and all that. Was this yeah. quickly written as well and, and put together? Yeah, so we did um, Cupid's Chokehold is the one that you're talking about. That's the one that was shot solely in Milwaukee um, and it ran over time. Um, and so with a lot of film festivals, it's not able to be submitted because it's 25 minutes. Um, and so I was talking to Maddie who plays Eden um, after we wrapped on Cupid's Chokehold. And I was saying like, oh, I wanna film something else. Like, let's do something else. And Maddie was like, if you write it, I'll star in it. So I was kind of thinking about like, some subjects I had contemplated writing about in my head. And I was like, I feel like this would be a good 15 minute short. Um, that's really personal to me. So yeah, I wrote it in August and we shot it in November. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pretty quick turnaround. Oh yeah. What are you doing next? Now you just moved to Chicago. Are you um, working on, are you going to eventually evolve into features? No, I actually want to go towards TV. Um, right now, I am working on a TV pilot. It's called Hard to Forget, and we're actually shooting it here in Chicago in August. Will you be at the festival in September? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Do you have any last words about your project uh, that might interest people in seeing it? Yeah, I wrote this... Um, basically for all queer girls, but especially queer black girls. And so I hope that when they watch it, they see a bit of themselves in the character Joy and kind of get a chance to really reflect on all of the different types of black girls that exist, especially amongst the queer spectrum, um, because it's so broad. And so I hope that it touches a little piece of them and they take something away from it. Great, thank you. Thank you for uh, being here today. Thank you, thank you for having me.